Secretary Hall, thank you for your, your remarks at the beginning about suicide, and I'm going to tie into that. Uh, many of you know uh, Alario Pantano. He cannot be here today. Uh, I, I, there's no way I can possibly replace him, uh, but I can step in for him, and I, and I did talk with him, and, uh, and Jeff, and Jeff, and thank you. Uh, but why, why NC serves? I'm not going to talk a lot about those slides. I'll, I'll put them up there, and you can see them. They're hung out there on a the working group site, so you can look at them. I'll come here to talk to you about what I call a family, a practice. It's called NC Serves. There's four networks across this state. Uh, Jerry is my brother, literally my brother, that drove up from Jacksonville uh, that does it. But we also have Metrolina in the Charlotte area, our oldest network in the state, the second oldest in the American Serves umbrella. And very new is Western. Uh, and my good friend Brandon, and some of you may know him, Brandon has worked up at this level before. but. Why NC Serves and why is it important? Well, prior to NC Serves, a veteran could go to an organization and get a list of providers, phone numbers, websites, or anything else, and then work on it, navigate through the soup. Well, NC Serves was created under America Serves to be that link. We are the navigation. So we take that veteran and we take those providers out there in that network. Some of you are in the room, by the way. Uh, and thank you for being here. And we connect them so that they're getting the right service at the right time for the right reasons and not out there spinning their wheels, as I call it. It's easy to uh, get lost in that out there. But the key to the whole success of this team is our providers. And again, as I mentioned, some of them are here today who are committed to improving care and services to our veterans. But the success in the network is the trust that is built by our veterans who seek services in this network. Once they seek services, we build that trust, and if they have a need, they can come right back into our network because they never leave the network. It's like joining a family, you come right back, we will plug you into the right service at the right time. That's what matters. The key also with providers in this network is if you cannot provide that service, you don't have to turn that veteran away and say, I don't know, or uh, you fumble through the old fashioned Rolodesk. We are the Rolodesk in the sky. We're a cloud-based organization. We will link for those other needs because most of you know a veteran rarely has just one need. You uncover multiple needs, that's what matters. So anyway, and how, what kind of data matters? I put some slide up there, but I don't want to, I didn't come to here to talk a lot about data today. We can do that at another time, or I can call you or come see you. What I want to tell you about is just the month of December alone, our four networks across this state, they serve 368 veterans. That's a little over 12 a day. Now, if I pulled up deeper data out of those 368, it was probably in the low 400 sum of services provided, which means those veterans received more than one type of service when they got into the network. Uh, I can tell you that that's what matters. That's the data to me that matters. How are our veterans knowing about NC Serves and how are they making referrals into NC Serves? Um, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that about roughly 25 to even 50%, depending on our networks across the state, the veteran themselves are referring them to the network. In other words, they know who we are. They can find it on a website, they got a card, they have a brochure, or a provider or an organization that just says, you know, call NC Serves, Central Carolina, Metro Carolina, Western Coastal, call them. I get notified all kinds of way, LinkedIn, text, phone calls, you name it, and that's the key. Get into my network and then we're gonna do it. And then the rest are the providers themselves. This is what makes it unique. Once they're at a provider, they can refer to other providers in the network so that we're not just doing one service, we're doing a continuum of care across all services. It's very important to all of us. Some of this data up here, but our top services uh, that really matter. What are we providing to our veterans out there? Well, across the board, it varies. And that's what's unique about the network. The needs in Fayetteville are not the same needs that our veteran population is seeing, say, in the mountains. This is a very large state. As I say, left to right and up and down, it takes a long time to get anywhere in this state. Uh, and the veteran population is just as diverse, and that is great. But housing, shelter, employment, utilities, financial assistance are kind of at the top across the board, but it does vary. The uniqueness of this network is we can tailor the providers that we bring into the network. We can increase 
Uh, we can flatline out a little bit. We can even decrease if we have to, or we can ramp it up. Uh, we saw a huge increase for financial assistance, particularly the week leading into Thanksgiving, for example. This network can be ready for that. Uh, government shutdowns, bad weather. When those things come, we can kind of be leaning forward as a community of practice. So where are we headed? The future will be what's called a Carolina community of practice. All four networks, my partner Jarek over there and my other partners, we talk uh, almost weekly on how to make this one seamless network across the state. We do inter-network referrals. So you as a provider or a veteran out there, it does not matter what the name attached to it is, whether it's NC Serves Coastal or Central. To us, we're all one family, we're all one team. We link each other together so it's seamless across the great state of North Carolina. So I'll, le I'll leave you with this. What can we do? Well, Secretary Hall, I'll tell you this. Veterans homelessness, suicide, substance abuse, those are all things that we can help with. I think we can reduce homelessness. We work on that every day. We can definitely reduce substance abuse. And I'm a 30-year Marine veteran, and I have been very close to suicide, unfortunately, uh, with some of my service members and some of my Marines. And I can tell you it's a personal goal for me is to eliminate veteran suicide across the state. Five a week is way too many. One is way too many. So with that said, Secretary, thank you for my time today. And if you have questions afterwards, please see me. I'm glad to talk to all of you. Thank you, Moses.